Right, I think I do with it without glasses. Let me quickly put my eyes in. I use the contact lens from Formomi. This is a Japanese brand. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna talk a little bit quicker because today is my grandma's birthday. We booked a local restaurant to take her out for lunch. So I, I got a few minutes to go. And today's video is going to be a foundation competition. Not necessarily, but it's a foundation testing video. And the two foundations are Giorgio Armani Power Fabric and Chanel's Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The reflection. The reason I chose these two is because I personally feel the finish, the feel and the experience of applying both of them are very similar. So I don't know which one is actually performs better. In a way, uh, myself, well, at the Giorgio Armani's one longer time. Uh, I know this one does last very long on my face, but I never tested out the Chanel one. So I kind of try, want to find out which one lasts longer, perform better on my face. So if you're interested in today's video, then keep on watching. As I am in a rush, so I'm going to quickly put my hair back. It's just easier to apply. I quite like this ear hoop because it's not too tight or too loose so once you finish using it it doesn't like uh, bend your hair too much but anyway I'm jumping back to the foundation so this the two Giorgio Armani Chanel the Giorgio Armani one I really like it is I suppose in the high-end uh, foundation, I would say Giorgio Armani's um, Power Fire Brick one is my top number one. Chanel, because I never wear it for like six, eight, over eight hours, so I don't actually know whether this is long lasting or not. But at least on my face, within six hours, so it's not a problem. So we find out today. That's the bottle of Chanel. And this is the Giorgio Armani. Both are kind of similar design concept. By looking at the bottle, you kind of know whether it's dewy or matte finish. Um, the color, um, Giorgio Armani, is perfect for my skin tone. Chanel's wise is a little bit light for me. So both are like cream. Uh, this is Chanel and this is Giorgio Armani. The color tone, Giorgio Armani would be even more uh, natural for my skin tone. Um, Chanel's one is slightly towards pink, but it's okay, both of them. As you can tell the difference now, this has a little bit of warm tone to it. And Chanel's one is slightly cooler tone than Giorgio Armani. Chanel's one does oxidize a little bit. Giorgio Armani's one is absolutely fine. Then let's try it on the face. I will do this half for Chanel and this half is Giorgio Armani. I will zoom you in a little bit. Okay, normal trouble. You know, under eye area again. When I tested out the foundation, I will not use concealer just in case it impact the outcome of the um, foundation. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I just quickly put a bit of primer. Is Ipsa's essence uh, essence stick moisturizer stick? Oops, a little bit too much on my nose, but it's fine. I'll just quickly use the sponge to even it out. I won't repeat how much I love this stick. You 
can go back to some of my videos or I will link one of the videos up here here for you to look for you to see okay uh, let's put Chanel on this side Both smells very nice, especially Chanel's one. Both are light to medium coverage. Both foundation, I like their finish. It's very much look like your own skin. It's like a semi matte finish. And I still have a little bit, tap a little bit more for my trouble area. Do ignore this here is just because I'm, I was wearing glasses for a long time. That's where the marks come from. As you can tell, the Chanel one is a little bit lighter than my own skin. Okay. This is Chanel this one without found any foundation as you can tell let me just grab a mirror I like the finish is is literally like your own skin it's a semi matte finish but the still keeps your natural skin glow on your face um, it covers pores very well don't know whether you guys can see you probably can see here still having pore problems and here has reduced a lot it does look flawless on your skin is like medium light to medium coverage I would say medium coverage it's not light it's medium coverage it's covered a lot of like the redness you know next to the nose area are very good let's move on to Giorgio Armani Can you tell? Two oh, very similar finish, right? Let's just get a little bit over here. This mirror is a little bit too far, so I need to get the handhold one. Okay, now I finished entire face. This side is Chanel, and this side is Giorgio Armani. Ignore my eye bags. They are just like to see everyone once so often. And also they're very good that they don't sink into your lines. They don't crease up. Neither of them crease up for the under eye area. Coverage is similar as well. Medium coverage. Minimize the pores very similar you still can tell a little bit for this area that's the most you know trouble area for me it's here still can see a little bit but for the under eye on my face forehead and it's, here is only tip of my nose is a little bit showing but the rest are pretty much um, being blurred so okay Let's go to normal distance so what I will do today is try to um, test it up for at least eight hours let me see what the time to now where's my phone oh, let's grab a watch and uh, now is 10 59 that's it 11 o'clock okay I finished this so I will just finish the rest of the face oh you know what let me try 
with the powder on just to see if any of them kicking up with the powder I tried before neither of them do but yeah just in case today is another day uh, for foundation testing a lot of people they don't use any setting spray or any powder I still do only because of my skin type so uh, I'm combined oily skin if I don't set my face my face oil would definitely come out to meet with everyone after two hours regardless what the foundation is so I feel it's not really fair for the foundation itself I want to give them a fair try on my skin so um, I will always set it but I will not use a setting spray so I would just use the normal setting powder. The one I'm using is from Pony Effect, their translucent powder. This one is really good. Again, I like this powder is because um, although it's supposed to be matte finish, but it's not completely matte. It's also like semi matte. It doesn't suck up the entire uh, glow from your face. Okay. With the setting powder, it is the finish is even better because, like, you add another filter on your face, it's even more flawless. And also, you see, um, although the Chanel one is lighter than my own skin tone because it does oxidize a little bit, therefore, now you can't tell the difference between like the color shade between Giorgio Armani and Chanel so I don't look like a you no know, half face I think probably in here slightly can tell a little bit but ah not that overly it's fine I will just quickly finish my makeup off the camera then I will come back again <gasps> quickly done my makeup oh I don't know whether I should have my hair up because it's a big mass for it so you know what I I I will put my hair up bear with bear with right this is the best I can get within this you know few seconds so do excuse my hair today and that's just Put the earrings on. We had to put the time forward a half an hour because my cousin uh, needs to go back to work at two o'clock in the afternoon. But okay, so uh, now time, time, time. Uh, Eleven twenty-nine. So far, where's my mirror? still look exactly the same as half an hour ago so I will do uh, also a, a small vlog today hopefully and yeah just come with me for a whole day if you not feel bored catch you later it's first time I'm using this thing so I'm not sure whether it's is it is it even straight Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, you guys can see me. That's most important. We are going to have lunch in here. This is quite nice. Famous for uh, seafood. Sorry, it's a little bit shaky as uh, my uh, video holder is broken. <laughs> This is my grandma. So Dolly. Oh, 
活越年轻，越活越年，越活越有。刚刚我跟老板讲，我说你现在就开始练。哎，你们什么时候去修复啊？王多生生子了，那个嘛，现在还孝敬了，最多孝敬一个。才一块一块就可以。我回去，我还是希望和这个。那个家。老板，他把肚子搞穿去了。晓不得这个。Hello, I am back. Had a lovely lunch. Oh, I'm completely stuffed. Just want to go to bed and have a nap. Oops, Just dropped my watch. Time now is three past two. Whoop. Three. Yeah. Reflection. Here we go. Three past two. I haven't got lipstick on, I know. Let me put a little bit of lipstick, then I update you everyone. I am just checking the foundation. Now my T-zone, as you can tell here. The face oil start coming out and a little bit here. Okay, here is not because of the foundation, because I wiped my nose as the food was a little bit spicy, so got a bit around your nose, so I wipe it off here. Um, my chin is perfectly stayed well. My face, both sides are okay. I think it is the key challenge with both foundations are just the, the normal area that I will have all your face all your coming out. It's just my T zone and here. But compare I think Chanel side is a little bit more just tiny slightly more oil in here compared to Giorgio Armani. But even you have a little bit of face oil coming out, but the still, you know, it actually makes your skin look even natural and better. Look at the. It doesn't look like oily, oily, but look like a healthy skin. How many hours now so far? I think when I finished applying the foundation, I think it was eleven o'clock, uh, right? And I finished the entire makeup. I think about half past eleven, something like that. So it's about two o'clock. So it'll be twelve one. Two and a half hours, not three hours yet. So that's it. Later on, I have a um, few jobs to do. I have a couple of videos to edit, um, as well as just uh, um, type the information into description box for last few videos and uh, quite a bit admin work to do. So I update you guys later.
guys, it is now half past three in the afternoon. I quickly come to update you guys as I find the Chanel one is mm, getting a little bit. Let me just zoom you in, okay? And let me get the pan, easier to point. So I just realized that first of all, that Giorgio Armani site, although the, you know, the red marks over here start appearing a little bit, but overall still stayed very well. But the Chanel side, can you see the reflection? Here is way much more oily compared to the Giorgio Armani now. So Giorgio Armani pretty much maintained the same that what I come back from lunch, but Chanel out of sudden the oil just come out and also the pores oh my god it's all come out to play and I don't know whether you guys can see I think you can the foundation start sink into my pores therefore made this very kind of um make the skin look really really old and also on my nose this side here the foundation really sits into the pores therefore it has like a tiny little white foundation dot on my nose hmm but the forehead is fine the rest of face is fine my chin is fine it's only normal my trouble area start getting out to play here and here Giorgio Armani side still stayed well now it's 3.30 how many hours? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half hours I thought Chanel would definitely last longer. i update you guys later. Hi, just picked up my little monkey and the current time is 6 o'clock. Well, 5 to 6. The Chanel side. Let's have a look. Can you guys see all my pores are out? Oh dear, my nose. Whoa. Can you see the two sides? This side is clearly more shiny than this side. This side is still kind of acceptable, but this side is, oh my god. It's very shiny. Not only that, it's also like the foundations in this area seems like the Chanel side. The best way to describe it is like um, they want to leave me. <laughs> they don't want to stay on my face anymore. So they either suck into my pores or they stay on the surface between my pores. And the oil just is all on this half is all over the places now. So let's say six o'clock is about one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven hours. I don't think the Chanel gonna last any longer. So I will try to update you guys in about another couple of hours again. Um, so I removed the lipstick as I'm going for dinner soon. So see you guys in a few hours, maybe a couple, maybe a little bit more. Hello everyone, come to do the last update of both foundations. It is now quarter past eight. Let me just zoom you in. The troubles still with Chanel side is it still here. Let's do a quick overview. Right. 
for both foundations, uh, majority that say 60%, 60-70% are great, such as surround my face, under my cheek, without t-zone area even for under eye area there is no crease it stayed very well for both foundations but Chanel's one that side has very much gone <laughs> the foundation or oh, they're on the way to leave they very much the oil on that side came out even more. I think for the forehead both foundations are similar as you probably see the reflections here. Both foundations are very similar but if you're looking at my face this side is Chanel and this side is Giorgio Armani. Giorgio Armani seems to just stay fairly well. Um, it just had a little bit of my face oil coming out other than that it still melt with my skin very well it didn't come out of my skin it neither suck into my pores but on the opposite side Chanel's one over here they were either suck into the pores or stayed on top of the surface so if I do like this can you see here's foundation is gone but my chin area, the rest of the face stayed very well. Come to summarize both foundations, I think Giorgio Armani, this side is the winner. I think if both foundation are set with a setting spray, will definitely reduce the oil coming out and I think will last even longer. So if you're like me, combine the oily skin or oily skin. If you have the budget, go for a high-end one. Highly recommend Giorgio Armani. Chanel is not too bad apart from because, you know, my own skin condition having pores problem. But if you don't have that much pores problems, it's just if it's just oil itself, I think can fix the by um, powder as well as a setting spray. Do excuse the dog barking, that's my dog. Yeah, she just like, uh, you know, having a conversation with with my daughter. And two of them having fun. Oh, sorry, this side of the Chanel. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give me a thumb up. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on my next one.